So then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first official review from On The Back Wheel. I'm out here today on a little bike. Give you a little sneaky preview there of what it might be. What we're we riding. The Triumph Thruxton. Ah. So here we go. Thought we'd come out today with my mate here, Ruddy. He's a bit camera shy, but he wanted to be on it today, mate. Give us a wave. He thought we'd go out today. We're normal sports bikes, right? Sport bike riders. Ruddy rides an M R1M. I've got an S1000 RR, as most of you know. But we thought we'd come out for a bit of nostalgia today. So we picked up the Triumph Thruxton R, care of Webb's Yamaha in Lincoln. Very nice of him to let us have them for a couple of hours. I strongly recommend going down there if you want to try a Triumph for a Yamaha or anything similar. Um, lovely bunch down there. I'm not quite sure they know how much we've ragged them today, but you know. The, um, so anyway, that was the first one. Second choice. When the camera zooms in and focuses. What have we got here? The Triumph. The new Triumph. Bobber. Black. So uh, we thought we'd come out for a little bit of a spin today on these two. What do we think, Ruddy? We've had fun. I will admit, we've had fun. We're used to thrashing round at God knows any mile an hour. I won't mention it exactly, but um, we thought we'd come out on these today, try them out, and what they're like. I'd say, obviously, they've got to be similar engines. Thrux and I is definitely quicker. Really good fun. I'm just in my jeans today. Nobody do any hating. I know I've not got my uh, protection on, but um, I thought seeing as I was uh, out on these types of bikes, we'd uh, have to, um, you know, go with the flow, I suppose, innit? Woody's in his full set of leathers. He thought we were off on a track day at Cadwell. Safety first. Safety first, exactly. <laughs> I'm thinking more about the ladies. But uh, <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah, so lovely, lovely bike, this one. Thruxton R. What do you think, Woody? Quick, really quick. Hammering it round. Looks the part. Olin suspension on there. Look, feels nice. Um, actually, show her on the front, though, which I was quite surprised about. But show her, show, are they big piston ones? Yeah, yeah, big piston forks. Look the business. But lovely little LED. Whip on that LED light, Woody. How do you do it? On the front here, lovely little LED Triumph, really, really putting like the nice finishing touches on these nowadays. That's one thing that we were saying before about, you know, the jack bikes, you've got all the bolts on them, you've got bolts hanging off the frame and the rest of it. It's these little finishes like that, although I know this is a show of thought, but little finish around there. And those Brembo's, look at that, they look absolutely wicked on this. So what you say, Woody, what, what we had this up to? 125 today? No officer. Oh, obviously on a private road officer. On a but, private um, the uh, but no, it was going really well. Certainly, we were following some chap on a Jixxer 750 or something similar a short while ago, and uh, well, we're keeping up with him. I think you were about to show him up, weren't you, Woody? <laughs> but uh, and I was on the bobber at the back here, obviously giving it a good thrashing. Yeah. So what we're doing the bobber? Bobber's lovely. It goes really well. Only about what 70 odd horsepower. 76, I think. 76 horsepower. Um, but bloody hell, blown away. I've never really ridden that many uh, sort of cruiser style before with you. And it goes ever so well, ever so well. Brakes, yeah, could do with a brake upgrade. Yeah, it's got... It's just got the little got, kind of Brembo's on there. It's got a lot of play and then it real kicks in. It's, it's, it's a one finger pull. But you've got to pull it in go. the fair it's like a It's like a three o'clock Ritzy bird, it's a one finger pull. But uh, on the brakes, which is always a nice touch. It's not that far behind the Not, and not that far, far behind the and no. Um, in terms of the brake at all, but the power, yeah, like I say, Ruddy put was Ruddy was on front in front on the Fruxton R on the way down here uh, to gain some way, and you're definitely pulling away, but you can have a lot of fun on this uh, bobber. It's definitely got more than enough poke uh, for just your Sunday riding. Um, yeah, brakes are a little bit. It could do with a bit of an upgrade there. I'm not quite sure whether you'd muck around with some uh, some pads in it or potentially a disc or something like that. Just give you a little bit more feel when you're kind of hooning up to the back of cars. You kind of just want a bit more feel and that there. Um, Ruddy has been testing this out nice today. I hope there's nobody watching from Webs, but we'll just show you a little uh, little taster. He's managed to take his hero blob off today, and then we did just notice he's uh, trashing the bike. There is a thousand pound um, excess if, if we bin it. I don't think he's quite gone that far today though. They did tell him that he's allowed to uh, kind of just get it over on its side. I think you need to really to have a bit of fun on it anyway. But um, yeah, but he's been a real hero today, obviously managing. I haven't done that yet. After he's told me about it, I've pretty much shipped myself and not dare take it over that far. But Woody did tell me what was he saying about a few centimeters off the ground when I was riding it. 
so quite impressed. Obviously, we're normally used to knee down everywhere. The, yeah, not quite knee down everywhere, but uh, used to the sports bike, so leaning over. But yeah, it goes, goes well, goes really well. We both did think about taking out an Indian bobber soon. They were meant to have a little bit more horsepower. Um, I don't think you really need it. I think it, I don't think you really do need it. Although it would be nice, I think, just to have that little bit more. But it's definitely fun. It, it's you know, it's a change of scenery riding these over the sports bikes. We thought we'd just come out for a play today, cup of tea, go to Willy Woods Cafe down there. There's a lovely bacon and egg sarnie and a uh, cup of tea. Just trying to get that in there now in case I see the video for a freebie in the future. Oh, lovely little light at the front here. I actually think the light's actually nicer on this than the uh, Thruxton R. That LED looks smart as, I reckon. Yeah, it's, yeah, doesn't it's it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. A little bit Diablo-esque. So, um, yeah, very nice. So, uh, I've had a blast on this down here. I'm going to jump back on the Thruxton. We're going to go down to Brayford, Lincoln Brayford front, and have a pint and show them off and see what else, who else we can talk to about them, no doubt, and go from there. So, we'll give you the next install shortly. See you at the other side. Thank you very much for listening to uh, On The Back Wheel, first review. We might have another one. We'll certainly have some more coming in the future. Yep. Roddy just treated himself to a nice KTM 450 EXC. EXC just recently, so we probably ought to get out on that. I've got a little bit of an older motocrosser, so maybe next time we get out on those for a little bit of a play, we'll give a review as well. But if you was good at it, right, a little bit of a roundup. If you had the money for both, 